For question 19, we're given f of x in terms of this integral, and then we're expected to evaluate f dash of negative 2. Now, I'll show you a way to do it on your CAS, but there is actually a quicker way if you recognise something subtle here. So the CAS method really is to actually evaluate this integral, get rid of the dummy variable t, get it in terms of x, take the derivative, and then find f dash of 2. So let's go through all those steps. The first thing is to define f of x. So we can go menu 1, 1, and we want to define f of x as the integral from 0 to x of the square root of t squared plus 4. And let's put that dummy variable t in there. And we've defined it. Let's have a look at what that actually looks like. So what is f of x? Okay, we've got this funky thing here. Right, so it's a pretty complicated looking integral. Well, what does the derivative look like? Let's go and define our derivative. I like to use the notation df for the derivative function. Doesn't matter what you label it as long as it's something different to f, but let's use df of x equals the derivative with respect to x of that function up there, f of x. What does that look like? Let's have a look. df of x looks something like, aha. Uh -huh. So that shouldn't be too surprising because this up here is a way of replacing a variable in an expression. t is kind of the dummy variable. It gets thrown out and we replace the t with an x. And that makes sense because we're integrating something that's going to be the derivative. So we should get back the original function. That's what we would expect. Anyway, we can work out df of 2 the derivative, sorry, of negative 2, and we get 2 root 2. So we know the answer is C. But if we recognise that T is a dummy variable, we actually get F dash of X equals root X squared plus 4, and then we want F dash of negative 2, which equals the square root of 8, which simplifies to Apologies, simplifies to 2 root 2. So we know our answer is C there. Two ways to go about that question.